Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle and today we've got Bar Burn. 20 moves, 40 seconds of effort with 15 second break. This is no repeat. Equipment today is a chair and light weights, three to five pounds. This workout focuses on the entire body. We're gonna be working the arms, the legs, the core, and the glutes. To finish this workout, we're gonna do a seven minute cardio burn. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. If you want more content, you wanna help me create this content, make sure you click that join button below. Roll your shoulders back. We're gonna do alternating knees up. So reach your arms up, lengthen, and then pull down those knees. Each move in the warm up is 30 seconds. And get a good range of motion here. So really reach the arms up and pull that knee up as much as you can. Sumo squat, open the feet up. We're gonna sweep down and then step the right foot in and stretch right arm, sweep and left. And you can zip up your heels. One more, turn for a lunge to three points. So we're gonna drop in the lunge, come up, and then lift the back leg for three points. Drop in lunge, and lift. So we're gonna really get that front of the leg, and then the back of the leg to warm up. Shifting lateral lunges, we'll shift over to the left and to the right. You can touch down or just drop that chest and shift over that leg. I like the arms to really reach in opposition here. We're going to lunge to the other side, drop in that lunge, and then lift into warrior three, or actually three points. So the hands go down, the leg lifts up, and you feel the hamstring engage. Turning to the front to a sumo squat, right knee up, and then left knee up. You can twist, you can reach. Big inhale, reach it up, reach it back, pull it down through that heart, and we're getting ready for our first move. So you're in that second position. I'm gonna hold it here just a little bit low. We're getting ready to fly. Drop and press the weights in. And then as you rise up, you're gonna open those arms out to that side. And pressing through the heels, right? That's gonna activate more through the back side of your legs. And then squeeze back a little bit between those shoulders. And I'm using just five at this stage because these weights are far away from the body.
hold it right here for just a moment. We're getting ready for that reach and pull. I'm gonna transition to five pound weights. Grab what you need. Roll the shoulders back. Or again, we're gonna drop and reach the weights forward and then pull the elbows back. So this one's narrow. Wrist is straight, palm is up. And we're just going that little bit faster than that first movement. And keep your chest right over your hips. Start in my sumo squat. It's gonna go right heel and left and right arm. And then switch. So one heel and then the other. And you're pulsing in your sumo squat. Now some of us are barefoot, some have shoes. It's always good to try to do some stuff without your shoes, but it depends on your feet. Fist to shoulder in that curl. and then fight that gravity pull down. Stay lifted. Push up. Come into a plank position. We have one push up with four mountain climbers. Knees or toes. Drop in the push-up, and then four knees to the chest. back, lengthen your neck. Lines has got you covered if you don't want to be on the ground. Lines, you can even use your chair. So if you have a chair at home, you could grab that. That leg that was moving, my weight is going to go behind it, and we're going to go into that donkey lift. Hands under shoulders. If you need to, you can drop to the elbows. Start with your leg up and down. Drop it knee to knee and lift. So I want you to get a good range of motion here. Again, going down knee to knee and then up for that pause. Up. That hand right in the back is going to use it for the kickback. Take a little wrist break. Oh. Start with the arm locked in, the knee lifted off the ground, and then extend back and bend. And then lengthen through the back of your neck here. So pull your head back a little bit 
and really extend the arm straight and the leg. Take the weight behind the knee, especially the leg that was moving. Make sure you grab onto it using that hamstring. I'm staying with my five. Hands under shoulders. Knee is up. And then tap it down and lift. did not work is pretzel. So turn onto your hip. Front leg is in a little bit. Back leg is in line. Knee in line with hip. Lean a little forward. Knee is going to lift off. And we lift that knee up. Now we try to rotate the knee down, the heel up, and lean more toward the leg. Awkward, right? So good for us though. Lift up and in. Light hands on the floor. And then it depends on your mobility, right? Uphold, release. There's not gonna be a big movement here. And then we're gonna stay on this side. Because we're gonna come to side for our plank with a three or five pound weight. So swing the legs around. I'm grabbing my five. And we're in side forearm plank, either knee down or not, but I'm gonna scissor my feet. Arm is up, thread through, and then back to side plank. When you thread through, really rotate. for the other leg, knee in line with hip, this leg can be pulled in more for if you have less flexibility, and then we're lifting that knee up at the side. And the body knows how to make it easy. You know, you can bring the knee more forward and get a bigger range of motion, but put it in line with your hip. That is so much harder. And again, we're trying to lean toward the leg. Again, it's easy to lean away. Ooh, this leg's a little tighter. How about yours? Relax your shoulders. Side forearm plank. Swing the legs around. Either you can be on your hip, or sorry, your bottom knee can be down or scissor the legs. We reach that arm up. Exhale, thread through. Inhale, your back.
we're going to quickly go grab a chair. So we're just going to do a quick little break here. So get some water, grab a chair, and we're getting ready for the next move. We're going to be in first position, heels and toes turn out. We're going to lift the heels, walk them in, and we have a full range in that plie. Dropping the butt to the heels, and then keeping that alignment, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, and then my hips are right over my heels. Now, everybody has a different range. But when you come up to the top, I want you to zip up your thighs and squeeze them together. Relax the shoulders. Pull the head back a little bit. Parallel. Bring the feet all the way together. Glue your thighs together. Lift the heels. And again, you're about arm distance away from your chair. Now drop butt down and squeeze your inner thighs. And then from there, we're pulsing. So now while you're in this pulse, press your knees together and really lift your heels. There, I just saw four heels come up. Dig into your toes and squeeze your inner thighs. Feel the burn? Oh yeah. Once we're done, we flip the chair for dips. Turn your chair around, hands on the edge. We have a dip kick. Scoot your butt just slightly away. Dip and kick. In your dip, take your time. Down, up, then kick. Make sure you're not too far from the chair. You don't hurt your shoulders. We're gonna put the feet on the chair for plank. Whew, reverse it now. Feet up on the chair. On the hands or the elbows. And then we're gonna bring one knee in and then alternate. Right knee in and switch. And try to touch your arm. Try to touch opposite now. Ooh, right? Three to five pounds. C curve. I'm gonna use my fives. So keep your feet going underneath your chair. You get as low as you can. And we do a little secret plunge. And the arms stay. And a little bicep contraction here. Tuck the tailbone. Push that low back down to the ground. Feet go on top, scoot forward, feet on. Whew. Heels on your chair, arms are up. You can 
decide if you want to do a skull crusher or chest fly. So drop the hips, right? Open the arms out and then lift the hips. I'm gonna press into fly, or you have the option of skull crushers. Coming up, and we got single leg circles. So rock yourself up to standing. Last two moves here. My front leg is like gonna extend out. Hands on the seat of the chair. And I'm gonna do small circles in, up, and around. I like to point my toe, pull my head back, really give me length here. Another option is that if you want to releve the standing leg, you can lift that heel up. Really lengthen your entire body here. Reverse that circle. Up in and around. And if your heel is lifted on your standing leg, you need to make sure you have a bend in that knee. All right, we're switching legs. We need you to just stand up for a moment. Relax your back. This is all intertwined with your core here. All right, drop in your position, switch the legs, and circle. Drag your shoulders down, pull the belly up and in. Give me more length with that leg. Switch the direction of your circle. This has a lot of great little areas inside your hips and your waist. Woo, all right, great job. This is where you have a moment to just stretch, get a sip of water, because we're coming back for seven minutes of a cardio blast. Are you ready? Seven minutes. First move is a sumo hop, or you can just do a sumo squat. You determine. Remember, 30 seconds of each movement. There's only four moves. We're gonna do three rounds. No break in between the moves. You do have a 15 second break after each round. So get in sumo position here. Sumo hop, or just do the sumo squat. Lunges, it's gonna be a one, two, side lift. One, two, side lift. Anything with the arms. Use your waist, right? Your core is engaging. Front kicks are happening. Arms up, kick and reach. You're crunching down. Sumo jacks are happening next. Out, in, or tap it in.
15 seconds. It's real quick. Deep breaths. You doing good? Feels good. Yeah. Sumo hops. Take your options. You can touch down. Swing. Laterals, one, two, lift. Front kicks. Reach and kick. Two more jacks. Sumo hop. All right, you got this. You got this. Come on, guys. Come on, team. Lateral lunge is happening. Reach and lift. Jack, last 30. Get high ten, so I had a great job. Jen, great job. Flies the awesome job back here. Cheeky did amazing. So did you, Carol. And of course, you did amazing. Hey, take another deep breath here. We're gonna stretch. Oh, let it go one more time. Reach it up. Oh, and we're gonna 
gonna take this leg, turn it into a warrior position for right angle. Knee, elbow into the knee, open up. You can keep the elbow there or hand to the ground. And then spin open the chest and hips to me. And then reverse this. Keep the knee bent. Reach up. Shoulders relaxed. Straighten it out for triangle. And again, open up the hips. Extended triangle. And then reverse the triangle. All the way down to lunge. Take that foot to the single dog, lift it up. Bend the knee, open the hip up to the back. Now take that leg, thread it through to the front. Side plank with a twist. Hold it for a moment. Push the hips up, stretch side. Hand goes down, hold this for a moment, right? Turn your shoulders, get a twist there and then bring the knees to the ground. Sit back, child. <sighs> Down, dog. Walk the dog. Now, shift into your plank, chaturanga down. Up dog, lengthen, hold. Release a little bit and then come back to down dog. Step your back foot in to that lunge, hold it, and then reach the arm up. So we're twisted, looking back. And then push your heel of the straight leg back to the ground, right? Push it back. Hand goes down, pivot front into straddle. Bend the knees, kind of walk in a little bit here for sumo squat, push the knees out. We're gonna do the whole thing on the other side. Take it up. Turn this foot into that right angle position here. Bend the knee. Open up. And again, we want to open up the chest and the hips. And then reach it back. Keep the knee bent. It's a reverse warrior. You can wrap. And then we're going to straighten the leg out. Triangle. Stack the shoulders, stack the arms. Extended triangle, reach. Reverse triangle, keep the length as you go up and back. Spin down. You're gonna lunge for a moment, then take the leg up to single dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. That leg is gonna thread to the front. Right, thread it through, side plank, push the hip up, and then reach it. So as you're pushing up, you're reaching, and then we're gonna take the arm down. Keep the leg there though, so you twist in the waist. Right, sink the hips a tiny bit. And then step it back, down dog. Knees come down, push into child. Let's keep the knees down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag ourselves forward to go into up dog. So you're gonna feel like your nose skins the ground, your chest, a little snake here. And then you're gonna lift up. Go down a little bit and then into down dog. All right, we're gonna take that same leg in the back, lift it up for a moment and then step it forward into Lunge and we're twisting to the back. Drop the hips, push your heel back. Hand comes down from that position. You're gonna pivot front into straddle. And then you're gonna walk the feet in, heel toe. Roll yourself up. Whew, that was a great workout. How do you guys feel? How do you feel at home? Big inhale, reach it up, reach it back. 
take a big of it. One more inhale up here, and then exhale, bring it down into your chest. Close your eyes for a moment. One more big breath here. Let it go. You did amazing. Thank you guys for staying for that whole workout. Thank you to my crew. I hope you enjoyed that bar burn. Make sure if you enjoyed it, thumb it up, comment below. Hey, share your sweaty selfies with me on Instagram. I'd love to hear from you. And make sure you are following me on Instagram because sometimes I've got some giveaways to give you guys. And we will see you back on this mat. Take care.